cuerpo para alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo para dar la alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo para alegría, Macarena, eh, Macarena. Dale a tu cuerpo para alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo para dar la alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo para alegría, Macarena. We are in the gallery, and I have to tell you, there is such a a, a mixture of things here. It's kind of like a mixture of like all four of us sitting here on this bench. There's <laughs> like so many different histories and stuff that we've done in our whole lives, but you've got it all here. And you know, there is an amazing thing that in this gallery, there's a history behind it. Tell us the history behind this gallery. Okay, this uh, building was located on St. Vincent Street, number 74. And we moved it in 2008 to this location because we fall in love with this building. And Penn used to have the same building here before we moved to Germany as his studio. So in this, we, ha we have two rooms here. It, it's a building which was owned by a couple, a Garifna couple, Mr. and Mrs. Guerrero. You found a picture here. I don't know if the cameraman can spot it maybe later on. Yeah, we have a photograph there. It's an amazing photograph. I mean, that's like history right here in this yeah, building. Right and you here. found that you found that photograph here yeah, in this right house? upstairs in the attic wow. while taking it to pieces. You no, know, we, we transported the building here, not as a whole building, we took it in parts, no? <laughs> First the roof <laughs> have to come down and then all the sidings and the you know certain parts were kind of rotten too, so we, we had a lot of work to set it up back. Yeah, and this, this where we are sitting now, that was the living room. And the, the next room was the bedroom. And we have a door right here. This was leading to the outdoor kitchen. And of course, the bathroom was outside. And you see all the little, it's a Victorian uh, colonial house. And I guess it's about 100 years old. When you see those little sticks up there, they are for the ventilation. Ah, so, yes. In the earlier days, we didn't have any electricity here in Belize. We didn't have any any lights, no ventilators or no air conditioning. <laughs> so people had to help themselves. Now even behind you, you see the, the windows. They are, they're made out of glass. You just push them up, and these are louvers or blinds. You know, so you can adjust them the way you want. If it's raining, oh, you close feel, them. I can feel airflow. Yeah, well, let's keep it open if you feel better. You know, so. Yummy! And even with being the two rooms, we have those louvers, you know, so... So it does get cross-ventilation. Well. Oh, I yeah. see the rooms the, yeah. between and the, the rooms. The door as well, it's, but it's open right now, you can see. It. So we have a big main door here, too. And it's a nice, and we love the building. Well, yeah, obviously, you love the building. If you moved it even, for goodness sakes, that's amazing. Because, yeah. you know, hello, have, have a piece of land, we'll move the house. <laughs> we want the house. Want so, the house. you know, in the gallery here, I see everything from beautiful, amazing, fine detailed embroidery. Yeah. That's you, right? That's my, that's my work, that's yes. your work. I started to pick it up uh, when I was like, um, oh, just had my, finished my gymnasium in Germany about 18, 19 years ago. I started to pick up that technique. And from that time, I just continue. I used to paint and then I said, while I'm traveling, I could just put them in my bag and pull it out. And anytime I'm ready, I paint with my needles. That's and my thread. That's very yeah. interesting. So, and then I came to Belize, my husband, Ben, my I said, oh, man, this is a technique I haven't seen before. You have to keep it up. So I finally devoted myself more to it. To do it. Well, yeah. I see that you've actually, uh, you've really devoted a lot of time because oh, yeah. it's beautiful. <laughs> I see that there's one over here to our right, actually, yeah. that is just so fine it's, detailed. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating to me. And then there are all the paintings up there on the ceiling, I see all around the rim. Mm -hmm. These are portraits. It's our portrait gallery, which we own. Uh, they are not for sale. We just keep it for, keep it in the family or for a museum or for exhibitions. These are mostly Garifuna musicians, icons, poly, um, cultural ambassadors. Then we have singers, composers. We have Benjamin Nicholas there, for instance, the po uh, painter too. And so, some other names are like TV Ramos here. He's the founder of the Garifuna Settlement Day. Then we have Isabel Flores here. He's a master drummer and master drum builder. And this guy here is uh, Junior Aranda. He just passed away two years ago as well. And so on. Right down the line, we have drummers, composers, singers, and so on. Here's um, Paul Nabor. He's still alive. I think he's the only one still alive in this gallery. Wow, he's holding an honorary yeah, position. He's in, he's in his 80s right now and lives in Punta Bora. He's a paranda musician. 
Uh, Paranda. One of the three kings. Heard about Paranda. The I've heard about the yeah, three that's kings. Yeah, that's him right here. Paranda. Mm -hmm. It's a Paranda rhythm. And so, and I'm actually, I wish you could see this. If you if you look at my website, you'll be able to see pictures of these. But here is absolutely, this is a like a pull-out brochure, well, not a brochure, like a poster. Yeah, it's a poster. It is a poster. Yeah, but it looks like the, the mask dance. Yeah, it is. It is a picture from this book, The One Naragua. Okay. So it's the, the world I still can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could dance it better than I could say it. <laughs> Well, it's the end scene at the school where they're performing the dance with, uh, in the middle there are the children, the gayusa, I call it the, the choir, no? The, the gayusa is the choir? Yes. No, I can say that word, gayusa. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and the drummers, no? of course, the, the one of the main um, characters in the book, he's playing the drum. The next one is the dancer, Namule, and the sister, she's a singer. So all the members of the family, also all the children, they are in the scene and performing you know, one hour. I mean, it's not only the, the dancing, it's the music and the voice, of course. No? You're so very, I'm very talented. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I know I've said that all the time, and I look at it because I can't draw stick feet, you know, stick people. Oh. You know, the little stick figures, I can't even do that. So to see this, and I can tell, you know, what's going on because of the stories that you've shared with us. What are all the different flags up here? Oh, this is the, from the countries um, nearby, like the Mexican flag, the Belizean, the Saint Vincent. Vincent. Yes. Saint Vincent, what? because of the Garina girl, came from Saint Vincent. No? Oh. So that's why we included Saint Vincent as well. And this is the Garifuna flag, Here the yellow there, flag, yeah. white. Yeah, and then we have Honduras, no? Yeah. And a Belize flag. Of course. Yes, yeah, of, course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course we are. Maybe the German one, but no. The <laughs> That's it. No, next time. Next time? <laughs> <laughs> you can put to get a sticker to put it on there, yeah, for goodness sake. You can do that too. <laughs> and so this is this is amazing. This, and where do you get the poster? Right here at our gallery or online in Belize City, the Image Factory. Yeah? yeah. Because this would make a great a great thing to frame on a wall because it's very pretty, it's well done. I like the size of it actually too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like I I have an artistic I, for what I like that I look at, I just can't make that happen, I can't draw. <laughs> okay, so, so teach us, teach us some more, teach us about what about the culture that has inspired you in your heart and your art. Myself? Yes. Well, I like the Mama. spiritual <laughs> part of the Garifuna people too, you know, they have the Dugu ritual. What's and, that? Uh, it's a... Um, it's a ceremony they do for the ancestors because mm -hmm. Garina will believe that the ancestors are still, still around alive. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still alive, so it's kind of of a resemblance to the, I don't know, like voodoo. Yes. They, they all also believe that um, the ancestors are still alive and they try to contact them and they fall in trance as well. From the drumming, they, they drum like uh, for hours mm -hmm. and then they have these visions like these contacts with the ancestors. So it's kind of a resemblance because yeah, Voodoo is from Benin, like West Africa, and they, from there they came the Garifuna as well. So they came from West Africa to the Caribbean. So What's maybe it's related. It's, it's related, very but uh, it's uh, different uh, no, because here mm -hmm. they say it's, it's a healing ceremony. Ah. They say like somebody gets sick in a family. Like it's dreaming, maybe the grandfather and so on. So they have the spirit medium, they call it the Mui, and mm. they go consult her or him. Sometimes it's a male as well. No? So then he or she will tell you what to do. You know? Either you need a big ceremony, this is a Dugu, then we have different ceremonies, they call Shugu and some other minor ones you know, that you can do at your house. But the big Dugu ritual, they have a temple here. Actually, they have three now in Tanguiga, but the main temple is by the seaside, and it's a ceremony, like I said, eight days. They have to live there in the hammocks, and they have the drummers there, the cooks are there, and it's very amazing. So For eight days? Yeah, for eight days. It's day and night drumming, and you know, they have the steps and so on. You know, right now we have a little, you know, the Norwegian cruise line. I don't want to talk too much about it, but I think this will never happen, that anybody can perform, perform this ceremony. It's, it's very spiritual and you can't perform spirituality on the stage. It's an like attraction for tourists. So yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah, so um, I, I guess, I, <laughs> yeah, that, that makes so much sense to me. Yeah, so it's just between the family too, because even I went to see it sometimes, I feel like I disturbed them just by watching. 
very yeah. intimate. Very intimate. Yeah. Although the temple is open, they have the windows and they have a lot of spectators like neighborhood they go and watch and but it's actually for the family and they all have to come together. They wear a special uniform and if the spirit they could say, Well if we don't accept your offer and the mm. person is still sick, that could happen too. You know. So it's it is a strange thing, you know, and you think everything in Garifna I can't even understand. You know? But You've I, learned I, a lot, haven't yeah, you? I've learned a lot and I saw the paintings my husband did and I myself I did a, a few art works pieces and I really love it. We, we play as, they have a certain rhythm they do with the shakas too. Maybe you can play it the hungu hungu. I don't know if I can play it, but I try. And that's it. Wow. Mm -hmm. It goes on and on and on. And they, they just go in a circle and dance, you know, and the dog is playing and the sh the way actually has the Shakas. She's coming out of a secret room. And the shakas. The, yeah. These are the shakas. The maracas. And the these, shakas. the shakas are like maracas. Okay. Because and they're beautiful. And you, you, you're gonna want to log in and see these pictures. They're just. This is, this is so pretty. I love things that make fun. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you were just telling me when we were during our, our break that the you just painted these yesterday. Yeah. 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 She just says yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Like one yeah. 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 I, you know, I do good to get up and match myself with whatever I dress for the day. I'm <laughs> much less, you know, paint yeah. something that actually looks beautiful and, and is amazing. Yeah, this is grandpa and grandpa, grandmother. This is the grandfather here and the oh. grandmother. They can talk to each other. Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, they're trying to time. That's a really <laughs> They were, no, no, no. <laughs> they were bickering back and forth. What is inside of the shakas, sh right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. I said, see, yeah, that's one word I got right. <laughs> What's inside of the shakas? Stones or something? No, certain beads. It's, 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 it's a plant they have here. Ah. A special bead. And so, can and you order these online here? We can. Yeah. yeah. What is the website? I know that's Mali Kaitano. Yes, it's an art of Yes. Do you yeah. have things like these on there? Well, not yet, but you can maybe write me an email, then I can well, send you pictures idea. or <laughs> something like that. So I'll have to make it up. <laughs> we need a fan club. I think yeah. <laughs> the Caetano fan club. Um, I'm, in, I'm part of it. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. You guys, <laughs> you guys inspire me. I like that. I am, you inspire me because you are dedicated to your culture and to having that stay alive. And I know that the interview that we, we got to do with Pen Caetano, the, the grand poopa, the daddy, mm -hmm. he, he touched my, my heart because he is so dedicated to teaching the children, teaching mm -hmm. people to learn the culture and to learn the drumming and to not let this slip away, which is so amazing. That's how you keep it alive. Mm -hmm. And you all are doing it. That and look simple. at you two. You are in Germany and you're still keeping that alive, because you're getting to teach and educate the people that become your friends. They're like, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Police, where is that? Yeah. Well, I mean, even that, that's you know, part of it. And there but, we have traditions as well, so we have to keep them alive as well. So there's a, I know, uh, uh, our hometown. In our hometown, there's in a, our the Schützen, you call it. So it's an old tradition where you put on some uniforms and march and uh, combine but with the Christian religion. So mm -hmm. we do this as well. They for the protection of the town because uh, my hometown is like an old fort. Oh. You know, we have a wall around it, it's like a 1100 years old. Wow. And we have some four towers on each, um, to each direction, north, south and west and east. And they still can open and they're still there vibrantly. And so the, the ritual is for, mm -hmm. or it's a, it's a Yearly ritual? A yearly? Yeah, they come together and they shoot on a bird, actually. Oh. They have a, yeah, they nominated. But not a real bird. So it's a wooden bird. bird. Oh, it's a wooden bird. <laughs> I was just wondering if we were going to have to bleep that out or no, anybody no, was going to no, get no, offended or Peter bird. was going to be writing me or going, Macarena, what are you doing talking about that? It's but a wooden bird. A wooden bird. I, I want to thank you all for, for inspiring me, for sharing your story, your life, your talent mm -hmm. with you know our listeners. Okay. And I would look forward to coming back and visiting you all very soon. Thanks for being here. Thank yes. you very thank much. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
Molly, Evo, and Ingrid <laughs> Caetano. Okay. So you want to come and look and check them out here in Dangriga. Well, when the kids are here, you want to see them for sure. Mm -hmm. And mommy's here and dad always. I'm your host, Macarena Rose. Thanks for listening to Belize Talk Radio on this edition on the Overseas Radio Network. <laughs> Bala tu cuerpo, alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo para dar la alegría y cosas buenas. Bala tu cuerpo, alegría.